big weekend of the Big Ten. Number nine, Indiana, set to play in their first top ten matchup in program history, taking on number three, Ohio State. What has been the key to Indiana's success in the early part of the season? Well, it's kind of weird, isn't it, that Indiana football, not hoops, That's football correct. is ninth in the nation, and they do it, Matt, with pressure, poise, and passion. For example, their defense wants to make up for a lack of elite talent by being hyper aggressive. And so they'll try to speed up a quarterback's clock with plays like this. Inside, you've got stunts on both edges and a blitz. That's a lot of commotion right in front of the quarterback's eyes. And he loses sight of the real danger coming from the wide side of the field. Now he's got what he wants. Big play, maybe even a touchdown. Ball's coming out. But what he doesn't know is that he's about to get blindsided. That's aggression. Now, the offense is at their best when you pressure them. Michael Penix Jr. on third down is about to get smashed as he releases this ball. And look at what a tight window he fits it in. And that kind of the weird thing about the offense is that in normal circumstances, they're pretty good. But when the chips are down, they rise to the occasion. Third down, Ty Freifogel interfered with, and this is not just a reception. To him, it's a fight for the football. And even the little guys will fight you because their passion is a reflection of their head coach, Tom Allen. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He loves his players, and they love him for it. The best sense of family, maybe, in all of college football. And so while Ohio State has a lot more talent, yeah. don't underestimate the power of pressure poise and passion and 20 and a half point underdogs that's certainly going to give them a little bit of extra juice going into that one that one half of the big one of the big 10 then you've got wisconsin taking on northwestern tomorrow abc give me the keys for each of these teams they haven't played a lot of football northwestern's look good early as well well for wisconsin the running game is a, a, a freight train going downhill on greased rails they're going Quarterback is a question. Which Graham Mertz will show up? In his opener against Illinois a few weeks ago, Mertz was 20 of 21. I mean, he was fantastic. But then he lost 21 days to the COVID protocol. And last week against Michigan, his accuracy was very, very rusty. And so I think Northwestern will use that terrific defense to sell out to stuff the run and force this into the hands of Mertz to see if that rust has been shaken off. This is one of the best defenses in the Big Ten with maybe the best linebacking core in the Big Ten. They've got the ability to slow it down. And then it becomes a quarterback duel, right? Peyton Ramsey, transfer from Indiana to Northwestern, yep. has really stabilized that position. And if he can just move the chains and make, make Mertz feel pressure to throw the ball, that's Northwestern's chance to win. Had Paul Chris, head coach of Wisconsin, on with me yesterday. He says he understands with the limited amount of availability of games how big this one is in the Big Ten West. Kickoff scheduled 3.30 Eastern ABC. Trevor Maddox, thank you so thank much. You, Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.